Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. I'm excited to bring to you the best haul video I've ever shot. And by best, I mean I am sharing with you the best bottle compilation of bottles that I've ever done. And seriously, the best. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, consider joining our Patreon community if that is of interest to you. And we actually have our first barrel pick. We have a couple of bottles that we didn't sell through our Patreon community that are still available. If you want to check those out, please go to uh, the link in the description below. It's a great price on a Rye 3 Toasted Barrel Finish rye whiskey which is honestly it's one of the best ryes that i've had in a long time especially one of the new ryes i've had it's amazing all right let's dive into the first bottle tonight the first bottle up tonight it's a friggin buffalo trace store pick holy crap this one comes from verudis i have no idea where that, where that is but uh it's i'm guessing it's in california because that's where you know the, the way that it made its way to me was through somebody in california obviously 90 proof buffalo trace i'm so excited for this thing Buffalo Trace store picks are so, so freaking good. If you ever have had Buffalo Trace and you're like, man, what's better than Buffalo Trace? I'll tell you what's better than Buffalo Trace. What's better than Buffalo Trace is a Buffalo Trace store pick because Buffalo Trace store picks and Eagle Rare store picks and Weller store picks and other store picks, they tend to be, always be better than the regularly available the regularly available bottle. Up next tonight is Eliza Craig Barrel Proof B. 523. I got this in South Carolina when we were down there. Uh, we did a family vacation down there on a lake down there. We picked it up. I paid right around $75 at this little store in Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, it was a cool store though. I wish I remember the name of it, but I don't. But this bottle comes in at 124.2 proof. I have popped the cork on this thing and it was actually really, really good. I ended up, you may have seen a video I did with this. I did this against a uh, A123 and against a Larceny B523, and I actually like this a little bit better. The Larceny B523 and the Larceny A123 are both amazing, amazing bottles, so if you get, get a chance to get those, definitely pick those up, but if you get a chance to get this one, I definitely recommend it. Up next is a I don't want to call it a special bottle because it's not supposed to be a special bottle, but it still kind of is a special bottle. This is a Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye whiskey coming in at 103.4 proof. Now it's not as good as the Jack Daniels special release they did in 2021 or whatever it was, but this is really kind of close. And this, I mean, I want to say this isn't that special, but it, 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 it kind of is because these are supposed to be regularly available like when they release you can go into most liquor stores today and buy a jack daniels single barrel barrel proof bourbon for about 65 dollars, and it's an amazing bourbon but it's available the rise are supposed to be that way uh these ones in time will probably be that way but as of now they're still kind of hard to get because everybody wants to try them because of that special release and how comparable they are um so definitely check it out if you get a chance this one uh this particular barrel is awesome and i really really like it totally recommend it now coming up next is hancock's reserve now this is one of those bottles from the buffalo trace line it's 88.9 proof it's a little lower proof so it's kind of the lowest proof out of all the buffalo trace line even a regular buffalo trace is higher proof than this thing how is it? I've actually, oh, we opened this up. I don't remember if it was a live stream or not, um, but it was actually pretty good. It was a little thin, a little quick finish. Um, those lower proof Buffalo Traces have great flavor notes, like the, a standard Buffalo Trace, Igor at 90 proof, Elmer Tilly at 90 proof, this at 88.9 proof. They're all pretty good. Like the flavor notes are pretty solid. The problem with them is because of that low, low, low proof, they just finish too quickly and there's just not enough substance there. To me, you gotta get up to that 100 proof, whether it be Rock Hill Farms, E.H. Taylor Small Batch, um, or up the line from there. To me, that 100 proof really kind of makes a difference. This was a gift from a patron, super, super grateful for this. I didn't expect it. Very great surprise, but uh, it's a good single barrel, great flavor notes, and I really, really enjoy it. Up next is a bottle that I actually shot a video on uh, a video of when we were at the beach not too long ago and uh this is a blood oath pack nine and i really kind of liked it this thing is finished in olorosa sherry cast coming in at 98.6 proof i liked it a lot i haven't i didn't i so i liked blood oath six i didn't enjoy blood oath seven that much i didn't enjoy blood oath eight that much but this was actually quite a bit better to me than both of those it's comparable to the six in like overall impression um the best blood oath i've ever had was actually i had a pour a blood oath two 
uh, it was, geez, a year ago down in Savannah. And that was a good, good bottle. That was probably my favorite Blood Oath that I've ever had. But, uh, but this one's actually a pretty good one. So I've kind of been on the fence about whether to keep buying the Blood Oaths. Um, and, and, and a Patreon of the channel actually helped me get a hold of this one. I paid for it, but he helped me get a hold of it. So thank you so much. You know who you are. Uh, and overall, I liked it for retail. This one was a buy. To me, the seven at retail was not a buy. And secondary was crazy. Eight, the same thing. I just wasn't a huge fan. The nine and the six both at retail, they're yeah, probably worth it. Um, not really worth much beyond that, but you know, this is a brand from Luxro. It's a special brand that they do and it's, it's solid. I, I, I get excited because I, you know, the whole blood oath packed thing that they talk about on the bottle and the secrecy of it. And they put it in the school box, the marketing, I fall for it every freaking time, but this time it's actually worth the retail. Up next is a bottle I have never been able to freaking get a hold of wild turkey 12 year this thing comes in at 100 proof beautiful box right beautiful box beautiful bottle let's pull it out this thing 101 proof 12 year age stated and it's really pretty good is it better than a russell's 13 the answer is no if you're if you're on the fence you're like well should i spend this the problem with this is you have to most for the most part you got to import these from overseas so they're kind of hard to get a hold of. That's actually what I'm sipping on on tonight. And let, let me just give you a little bit of a flavor, a uh, little bit of a flavor profile description here. You get a little bit of that wild turkey. It's 101 proof. It's not as like just like super dark and rich as a Russell's 13. You do get a little bit more of that wild turkey note that you'd come to expect from like a wild turkey 101 or a uh, Kentucky Spirit, for example. You get that little bit of a dusty, kind of a barrel, wild turkey barrel kind of thing going on. Then from there, it kind of dives into a little bit of caramel, a faint trace of like a, a cooked lemon. But otherwise, it's it's pretty good. Little caramel, little vanillas in there. But yeah, it's a solid bottle and I like it. Um, I, you know, as a patron that helped me get a hold of this thing uh, down in North Carolina, thank you so much. You know who you are. And I enjoy it. I think it was worth the price I paid, which was about 150 just for the unique experience that it provides. I, I would say that it's probably worth it. So up next we have Blanton's Gold. It's, uh, it's got a gold horsey top instead of the standard horsey top. It comes in at 100 proof instead of the standard 93 proof. It's a little bit darker than the other one. And uh, tasting it side by side, I like it better than the standard Blanton's. It's nothing like Blanton Straight from the Barrel. Blanton Straight from the Barrel is actually really, really good. This is better than the standard 93 proof Blanton's, but it's not uh, not something I'd go crazy for. It's good. It's better than Blanton's. But uh, overall, just, you know, the 100 proof, 100 proof is just a little bit light for the price that people are looking for on secondary. If you can get it at retail, by all means, grab one. But if you really, 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 really like Blanton's, and you want to get something better than Blanton's, you might want to look for this one. Otherwise, if you're just kind of like, oh, Blanton's is okay. If you can get it retail, get it. Otherwise, pass, I guess, because it's good, but it's not friggin' amazing. Some of you are like, holy crap, David. This already, you have topped all the other haul videos you've ever done with the quality of bottles <laughs> that I've shared. Um, and, and, and it's been pretty good. But I actually have three more bottles, and all three are friggin' fantastic that I'm super, super excited about. And the first one of them is a stag now this stag uh, i paid retail for comes in at 131 proof really really excited for this one and i don't have a regular stag so i've got a stag store pick right there but i don't have a regular one so i'm very very excited to get a standard one it's in the speakeasy again and I, I like me some stag it's not as good as george c stag but that's george c stag's hard to beat so if I can't get a Dorsey stack, I'd like to get a regular stack. If I can't get a regular stack, I'll take a store pick. The store pick is amazing. It's phenomenal. I did a video not too long ago, go back and check it out, where I did the uh, stag 18, the 22B, and store pick. And the store pick blew away the 22B and the 18. So if you ever have a chance to get a hold of a stag store pick, do because they are phenomenal. They're seriously the stag store pick I have is almost as good as an E.H. Taylor barrel proof. And that's saying a lot because that's almost one of my, it's probably top five bourbons for me. I love those things. So if you ever can get a hold of one, great. Thank you to Largo Spirits in Savannah. 
who helped me get a hold of this store pick. I appreciate you. And uh, But if you can't get a hold of one of those, a standard stag is still a phenomenal bottle of whiskey. Don't go crazy on price, but if you can get one for retail, or I'd probably go for a stag, I'd go under, I'd probably $200. I'd go up to $200 on this one, but that's probably the backs for me. Before I show you the next ball, I just have to simply say thank you so much to our Patreon community. Uh, you all are amazing. You do so, so much to help. Jamie and I get a hold of these special bottles because honestly here in Virginia it's so hard because we don't have actual direct stores to work with we have to go through the state and it's really hard to find a hold and get a hold of stuff and it really is all of you out there and and primarily our patrons but there are some of of you who are not patrons who who are super super helpful as well but thank you seriously so much because I could not do this without you next bottle Weller foolproof this thing is fantastic i really like weller foolproof and this is perfectly timed because i just literally just bottle killed the other bottle of weller foolproof that i had that was my first bottle this is my second bottle super excited to get it best thing about this thing it was a gift from one of my patrons and seriously thank you you know who you are down in texas you are friggin' amazing and jamie and i are so grateful for your friendship and for your support Weller Foolproof is this perfect balance of berry, weedy, caramel, vanillas, delicious flavors. If you can get a hold of one, I know they're impossible to find. They're so hard to find. So many of these bottles today are literally impossible to find. But if you ever get a chance to get a hold of some of these things, definitely do. Don't go crazy for them. There's a ton of, I've got a ton of videos where I talk about how get the cheap bottles, get the affordable bottles, the findable bottles that are not insane because some so many of those are amazing and as you go up in price and rarity the quality does not tend to follow the same curve uh in, in value and the final bottle in the haul video tonight is eh taylor barrel freaking proof this comes in at 129 proof and the eh taylor barrel proofs are some of the best bourbon that i've ever had um i've had the Pappy 23, Pappy 15, I've had Michter's 20, 25, and the Celebration Sour Mash. I, I've had some good bottles. I had George C. Stagg, I've had William Leroux Weller. They're, they're some amazing, amazing bottles. And the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof is right up there in specialness. It's a little less complex than most of those. A little more red berry dominant. But if you ended up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you are interested in trying a delicious toasted barrel cast strength rye whiskey, our first barrel pick is, we've got a few bottles left. It's at bourbonoutfitter.com, but you only can get to it through the link in the description below. Great, great heritage on that bottle. It's a tremendously delicious, toasty uh, rye whiskey. Check it out if you are interested. But until next time, Find a bottle you love.